For the record, yeah. For the record, for the record, yeah. All right, welcome to the final episode of For the Record for the season. We're on to the Super Bowl, and unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know now that it's gonna be played between the Kansas City Chiefs at Tampa Bay Bucks. The spread is gonna be plus three, meaning the Chiefs are the favorites by three points, and the over and under is 55. Now, typically when a team is playing at home, Vegas gives them a three point advantage. So I just think it's interesting because Vegas is trying to tell me that if these two teams were playing on neutral ground, that the Chiefs would be a minus six favorite. So my question to you is, are the Chiefs really a touchdown better than the Bucks? I don't think so. So I'm gonna give you my pick early. It's gonna be a Tampa Bay Bucks, but let me argue both sides. If you want to convince me that the Chiefs are going to win, I totally would be open-minded to that. They're a great team. They have a lot of Super Bowl experience considering the whole team was in the Super Bowl and won it last year. I also give Patrick Holmes a lot of credit because he's been in a lot of playoff games that, you know, were tough games. They were down early and he clawed his way back and won at the end of the day. So I give him a lot of credit winning those types of games. But here's the problem with the Chiefs. I think that this, this time leading up to the Super Bowl, they've had a lot of headlines that have been pretty distracting. The first week leading up to the Super Bowl, they had that whole fiasco with the barber that tested positive for coronavirus and possibly infecting 20 staff members or players. And now this week, breaking news today is that Andy Reid's son, who's the outside linebackers coach for the Chiefs, was involved in a major car accident and now his son and two, uh, I don't wanna say victims, but two kids in the other car are now all in the hospital. So that's very distracting. It's gonna be tough to be coaching a team while your son's in the hospital. So that's in the headlines today. It might be a little bit distracting. On the other hand, you have the Tampa Bay Bucks. You have Tom Brady, of course, they're playing at home. There's really no distractions. I don't think that you've seen the Bucks in their final form. I don't think that I've seen a game yet where they've utilized every piece of weapon that they have. Grant, they have a lot, um, but you have Antonio Brown back, which he didn't play the last game. They haven't even yet used Gronk to his abilities. He's pretty much just been blocking all these games. And I think he's the most healthiest he's been this late in the season. So look for him to make some big plays. Um, I do also want to mention that the Bucks are are tested. You know, they're a young team. They don't have a lot of data, so it's tough for the Chiefs to kind of figure them out. But look at who they've beaten in the playoffs so far. They had to beat Drew Brees and the Saints, and they had to go and beat Aaron Rodgers in the Green Bay Packers, who were the number one offense. And I would say Rodgers is pretty much Patrick Mahomes in a sense. So the Bucks were able to you know, stop Aaron Rodgers in very critical drives last week. So I think that should be enough experience against a mobile quarterback like Patrick Mahomes and defense came through. So I think the Bucs have a solid chance here and I'm going to pick them and I'm actually going to take them on the money line. The money line is going to be plus 145. So I'm going to put $2,000 on the Bucs money line winning straight up. I'm mainly going at this because it's a value pick because I can win $2,900 if they win straight up. So that's bet number one. And let me go jump backwards real quick to last week. Last week, I lost all three of my bets. It was a horrible week, but I started up $5,992, lost $3,000. So now I'm at $2,992. So the goal this week is to not lose more than that number. That way I can either come out of this season even or up. That's the goal. So I'm going to risk $2,885. So that way, worst case scenario, I still walk away with $107. So let's go. Bet number two is going to be heads. I'm going to bet the coin flip. Usually there's a 5% VIG on this. So it's going to be 525 to win 500. And then bet number three, I'm going to bet Gronk in a prop bet that his longest reception is going to be more than 16 yards. And we'll put 360 to win 300. One last thing. This is the last game of the year. If you can guess the winner and the final score, comment below. I'll give you $500 if you're right. For the record. Yeah. 
for the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen.